In this step-by-step -step tutorial from Michael Rochard, we are going to show you how to build a set of related value lists. Before we move on, the reason we use related value lists is so that users can only ever make valid selections which will always produce a successful result, building their confidence. We are using a free set of sample data from Brian Dunning, with 500 records. Later on we are going to show you how this all works with 50,000 records, but for now, we are going to start with the user selecting a state from a drop-down list of states that are in the database. This value list is the parent, and uses all values. Selections for city in zip will only show related values for selections made. This is a very simple process but once you know how to do it, you will be able to easily build your own related value lists. These are one of the most powerful and useful techniques in the professional developer's toolbox. In other words, it is well worth learning. The first thing we have to do is add three global fields, gState, gCity, and gZip as these are the only fields that we want to filter down on. Now that we've added those fields to the database, we are going to position them on the layout above the field labels for the matching fields. Click onto the field G state and select drop down list from the fourth tab of the inspector on the right side of the screen. Below that, you will see another menu with a label that reads values from. Click on the edit icon to the right of that option. Press new in the manage value lists window. Click on use values from, which opens the specify fields for the value list, the table people, which is the only option. Then select the field state, including all values. Now go into Manage Database and select Relationships. Add a new table occurrence naming its states. Now connect gState in people to state in states. Press OK to exit. Now the fun begins. Right click on the field gState and select Script Triggers. Select On Object Modify. Add a new script called Filter. This script does three things. Firstly, it goes to all of the related records for the state that is selected in G state. Secondly, it sorts those records by city and zip. Finally, it clears G city and G zip. This means that every time you select a state, it clears any previously made selections. If you don't do this, it will confuse users because they won't know what is going on. Click on the field gCity and add a drop-down value list called cities. This value list uses the table occurrence states. Select the field city. Include only related values starting from the table people. This is our first related value list. When you select a state, it not only goes to all the related records for the state, but populates the G city field with all the cities within that state. Select a state. Now click into the G city field to see cities in that state. We now need to add a second relationship. This will be used to go to all the city records for the city selected in G city. Modify the script called filter. This time we clear the zip field each time a city is selected. Go back into Manage Database. Add a new table occurrence called Zips. Connect gZip in the People table to Zip in the Zips table occurrence. We don't need to use any other fields in this relationship because we are already in cities for the states. Exit Manage Database. Click onto gZip and add a new value list called zips. This displays all zip codes for the selected city. Right click on gZip and select script triggers. Select the script filter using the script parameter zips. Let's look at what happens when we select a state. Now let's select a city from that state. Now select a zip. Each time a selection is made, it reduces the number of found records. Click onto G City and hide it when G State is empty. 
Click onto gzip and hide it when gcity is empty. Done. In the description for this video, there is a link to the sample data file that you can download and use with this tutorial. As you go through it, pause the video frequently while you complete the steps. At the beginning of this tutorial, we promised that we would show you how this all works with 50,000 records. We'll be doing a separate tutorial on this file as it is more complicated, but for now, enjoy the demonstration. The next section demonstrates a much more complicated selection where there are far too many cities for the selected state, making selection difficult. Thus we need to be able to filter down those cities into a manageable list. To do this, we've added a calculated field called index which gives us the first letter of every city. We've also added a global field called G index. This is another related value list, displaying all of the index letters for all the cities within the selected state. When we select an index letter, the G city field only displays cities within the state that begins with the selected letter. We will show you the list of all cities within the state. Then we will use the G index field to reduce the number of cities for selection. Thanks for watching. See you next time.